I'm tripping. I'm, I'm tripping, family. I don't know what's going on. It is some definite things that, be, that are beyond my control that are going on with the technical, technical difficulties of my videos right now. It is apparent that I am saying and touching on some things that perhaps I should not. So we're going to change the whole feel of this video. We're going to change the whole aura of this video. This is crazy. Okay? My chi is very, very high. Um, what I'm going to do, though, I do have my singing bowl here. Okay? And what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to change the tone. We're getting ready to change this energy right quick. We must. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what it was that I said that I should not have said. I was simply changing. I mean, excuse me. I can't even get my words right because I'm not supposed to talk about that. I was simply talking about 5-5-10 and what happened and what transpired on that day in my life, my real life. I apparently was not supposed to discuss those things, those specific things that happened to me. And it did. It has affected my videos greatly right now. So we're going to talk about something else. And I want to start off with talking about a little bit of smudging. Can we smudge, smudge this uh, space, please? We must. Where's my, where's my torch? We're getting ready to smudge this, uh, smudge this right quick. We got to... We're getting ready to talk about some incense, aromatherapy. I have some cones here as well as my books. And we're going to do some smudging, okay? And this is what I do. I'm going to give you a little bit about the background of smudging and how it goes. We're getting ready to smudge this whole space. I don't want to be tripping nobody out, but this is my real life and this is how I get down. This is what I do. Now, smudging is this comes from Indians back in the day. I believe it was Indians, but I wouldn't be surprised if Egyptians and so on and so forth and probably Greeks and so many other people probably did it. But um, smudging, it actually changes up the energy of different things. Okay? I smudge my house. I smudge my car. I smudge my man's place. I did not smudge his car, but I do believe in such things. Now, Speaking of my baby, I don't know what's going on. Father, what's going on? I'm tripping. My baby just reached out to me, just texted me. As soon as I mentioned him and I was mentioning him that, that I hadn't smushed his car, now he's texting me. It's a lot going on right now. So we're getting ready to talk about my incense burning, my smudging, and what it does for me and a little bit of background about it, okay? I had to change up the energy on this thing. Let's change this energy up. Let's just kind of bring this down just a little bit. Let's bring this down. Bring this energy down. Father God, I'm sorry. I don't know. I I, I just was sharing my experience. I don't know. I said the wrong thing. I, I said something that was not supposed to have been said. And I'm just humble about it. I'm just shaking at my core on the inside because there's something that I should not have said. And I only hope now that the volume is back and that everything is back onto a stable, uh, in a homeostasis state, that everything is stable and everything is calm. And this is what I'm trying to bring forth, okay? So we're going to talk about my incense for a second. I want to show you guys some of my books that I have on incense. This is my aromatherapy Bible. It is made by Jill Fari Halls, Farrier Halls. It's old. It's very, very old. And this is just aromatherapy. And they call it a Bible because Bible is what a, a book of knowledge and a book of, you know, a lot of things. So don't get it misconstrued with uh, St. James or, you know, or uh, any of those. Don't, don't, don't get it misconstrued with your holy Bible. It just has Bible on there. That's just the title. So don't, you know... Oh, this is the King James ver Version. No, stop stop that, okay? Stop that. This is not the King James Version. This don't have anything to do biblically. This is just part of the title, and this is Aromatherapy Bible. I have this same series as far as my crystals are concerned. I have it in, uh, hold on. Matter of fact, let me get them. Hold on one second. I'm going to show you the different ones that come with the Bible name um, of the different ones that I have. Hold on one second. 
Just give me a moment, guys, because I'm grabbing them off of my shelf here. Ah, shit, just dropped my glasses. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I hope the volume is not messed up because I really, really wanted to make it a point to change up the tone. Okay, so I have the Astrology Bible, okay? I have the Mythology Bible, okay? This one here is my Chakra Bible. Crystals Bible. And my sissy gave me this. <laughs> Loretta gave me this and I keep it so near and dear to me and I just put it in here and it just says auntie and it says auntie and it has so much love and different stuff on it and here's another um, uh, uh, bookmark in here that I have as well so that lets you know how um, I'm really big about my crystals and stones. Um, this one here is my dream bible. This one here is the aromatherapy. Here is my feng shui bible. <laughs> uh, okay, this is astrology. I had this on my bed. I'll put that back on my bed. That's why I got it here. This is my meditation Bible. You can see I use it quite often. And then this one here is uh, the Healing Plants Bible. And this is, you know, where, and you can see too that I, you know, I'm about this life. I like a lot of things that are organic, a lot of natural things um, around me, around my personal space. And these are some of the things, these are my go-to things that um, I have. Something is moving me to sp speak on this plant right quick. Hold on one second. A plant that you guys might want to put in your personal space, put in your room, or anything, especially for those of you guys that are on a holistic tip. Um, I have a few of these throughout the course of my house in my bath and in, in my um, bathing area. Um, by the sauna, I have one, a smaller one, and I have one in the front part of the house. And actually... What those plants do is they purify the air. They purify the space. So whenever you see those plants, and also I like bamboo as well. So, you know, different things that you'll see. And it's like, that's just my stuff. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm an earth uh, sign and this is my thing. So, um, and also I have this one. This one is on just plain incense. And this one here is making your own incense. So, that just lets you know that I'm about this life. Where's my incense box? Hold on one second, y'all. I know the video is going to be all over the place, but you see what we got going on today. You see what we got going on today. So, just bear with me. <laughs> okay. Now, um, these ones are empties. <laughs> I have incense everywhere. I have incense at baby's house, incense everywhere. Here's another box. And then this is the new box that I just opened. And so this one here is patchouli because this, I burn patchouli in the morning. It gets my clairvoyance going. It kind of, you know, gets me in a different type of headspace in the mornings and at night. Um, so I was burning that and I was uh, burning, um, what is that, uh, Mogra? Uh, or magra. I don't know which way you pronounce it, but um, anyway, and this is like frankincense and myrrh and all kind of white must and all kinds of stuff in here. They even have one cannabis. It smells very good. Aloe vera. I love that. The rose. It really, um, you know, settles me and really makes me feel more of a sensual type thing. Amber. It really heightens my chi. Um, so um, it just has different ones. This is just a uh, different ones that are in here. Um, so I love incense. I am about this life. This here is um, one of my incense holders that I put the incense in and then I just burn the tip. My baby gave me that red torch. What I do with it? I don't know. What I do with my red torch? Because I wanted to show you guys my cone burner. This is a cone burner. Okay. Cones are just as incense. But, and where's my burner? Where's my torch? I want to light this so I can show you guys. Hold on, here it is. Baby gave me this cute little torch. He said, baby, you need a torch for these little cones and things. Okay, so I, um, when I go to my instant place, um, I could buy my cones $54. And so I, um, I bring this with me. So then therefore, because what they give you is a Ziploc bag like this. And, but it's all, you know, I don't, you know, I don't like stuff on my hands. So I'm just, but I am going to reach in here for the sake of the video. And pull one out so you guys can see it. Okay, this is, uh, and I believe this is Dragon's Blood. 
dragon's blood. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. So, anyway, y'all, I'm trembling on the inside. I just only hope that what I'm talking about now is pleasing. Um, let me let me pour this these ashes out. When you're smudging your home, you can also smudge your home with incense. Or if you're smudging your home with your sage, with this guy here, this is simply sage, okay? Um, I buy this for 3 to $5, and I buy this downtown L.A., and it lasts me forever. Whenever you're smudging your home, what, what smudging is going to do is it's going to change the energy of the environment, okay? To open it up for some good things, to make it calm and peaceful and all those types of things, okay? And so when you're smudging... And you smudge around your doors, your windows. That means you don't want you want to change up the energy. If you had an argument last night, if it was um, um, some type of something happened in a house, an argument or a fight, or your how your home got burglarized or something, and you want to change the energy in that space. Say you lost a cat or dog or something, and you want to change the energy of that space. Then therefore you would smudge in your house. You close your you um, close your windows and doors. You're going to smudge, much, 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 much. You're going to start at the left side of your, of your residence, okay? The left side of the, the room. It's always on the left. And you're smudging around your windows and around your doors and whatnot. Then as you make your way, because like I'll start from the back from here, and I'm going on the left side of the room. So I'm going, uh, um, I have a, a sit-in nook there. So I'm going from the left all around my windows there. And I'm going, I'm starting from the door there around the, uh, the frame of the door, okay, all around the windows. And what you're doing is you're calling into existence on what you want to happen. Father God, I ask for prosperity, peace, solace, you know, abundance. You know, Father God, deliver me from whatever. I ask um, for love and, you know, sincerity and truth and honesty and empathy. You know, whatever you're asking for, you're supposed to speak it with your tongue. As you're just simply, you know, changing the energy of the room as the smoke goes, okay? When you make your way to your front door, then you're going to all those extra ashes because also you're supposed to have something. Now, this is my singing bowl, of course. But, you know, you have your ashtray or whatever you're using or whatever, something in your hand if you don't want the ashes on your floor. But it's not going to really be all like that. But when you get to the door and you're getting ready to put it out, then you're going to shake it at your front door. You know what I'm saying? At your door, those ashes. That means you're leaving all that shit out, outside of your door. Okay? And then you just simply put your um, sage away like this. It doesn't continue to burn. Once you put it out, it's out. Then you put it out, and you just set it to the side of whatever. You could put your sage inside of uh, sand or just a, a, a metal bowl or something like that. Just put it out, and then it just stays like that. And mine just stay just like that, and that's how I roll with mine. I also sometimes have put it in the This is the plastic when I bought it, and they had put it in this plastic. So, But I just had it all in my little stuff. Anyway, this is a cone, and they're shaped like cones, and I put it in here like so. And also, there is an art, really, to incense and whatnot. It's not the fact that just going down there buying cool rain and, you know, sex on the beach and butt naked. You know, you go to the liquor stores, and they have all kinds of different incense, you know. And it's like, you know, people just buying it because they smoking weed and trying to change up the scent in the house. No, it's deeper than that. It's deeper than that to me. It's like a, you know, like some form of ritual or, you know, it really takes me to a different headspace when I'm burning incense and whatnot. So when I'm burning my incense, I'm getting my chill on, okay? So I'm, 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 I'm going to let that burn for a minute before I blow it out because the, 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 um, uh, it's going to turn like a little grayish tinge on it and once it turns that grayest tinge then I know at that point in time that I can blow it out and I'll put it down and you'll see how it gets down but I love this guy I love this guy and especially at night at night I'll have like my um I have Himalayan sea salt candle holder um and um and I have that here and also at this house and at his house we have the um the, uh, the uh, sea salt lamp and whatnot. So when we blowing and sitting up and we doing all that right there, we chilling, cutting the ball right and all that. Baby, baby, I got to keep going and that's what we're going to do. Everything I'm going to do. Everything I'm going to do. So now I'm just going to blow this out and take our hands. Okay, so we're going to blow this out like that. We have to do it. We're not going to blow this out. We're going to ask you to mold it. And if it's not fit all the way, then therefore this is also smothered out. 
Thank you. 